Today we're going to look at the Pickwick screwdriver set, made in Canada, eh? Today I'm going to review this little pack of Pickwick uh, screwdrivers. Comes with three. These are built right here in Canada. Actually, uh, the company itself is uh, based out of Vancouver, BC. In the package, there are three universal multi bit drivers. So let's just open this up. We'll take a look at uh, what comes in the package. So in the package, universal bits. You basically push one bit through to take the next one out. Comes with your standard Robertson, Phillips, and uh, flat uh, slot. And these ones here are compatible with a drill. They're also magnetic. And to change a bit, you just simply pop one out, put it in the back, and push the next bit in. So here we have a Phillips number one. If I want a Phillips number two, just exchange it for Phillips number two. Easy peasy. So you got every standard size bit that you're going to want right there, tip of your fingers. Plus, for extra torque, you can get a wrench on here and that'll give you extra torque for both the three inch and the two inch version. This one comes with, again, the sizes of bits that it ships with are you get a uh, one, two, and three Phillips. No, sorry, one and two Phillips with the larger, a one, two, and three Robertson, and a three sixteenth and quarter inch for a slot. So here's the slot, three sixteenth and quarter inch, and a size one and two for the Phillips bit. You get a size 0, 1, and 2 for the uh, Robertson bit. So it's got the smallest size for Robertson, the smallest square bit. And 1 and 2 for the Phillips. For the slot, it's 5 32nd and 3 16 So it's got the one that's one size smaller than this one. And then you get this little teeny turner. This one here comes with seven bits as well. This one has a size double zero and a size zero Phillips, which is the perfect size for those tiny screws used in phones and Walkmans and those type of things. Uh, five, six, and eight Torx and a two and a three millimeter slot. So right now this one's got a, a Torx on here. And this one's a, a T8. They're all numbered if you look on the, the bit itself. The bits are all numbered. So this one's a T8. This one here would be, this one's what, a T6 or a T7? This is a T5. So this is a much smaller Torx bit, as you can see. And then there's one in between, which is the T, or the bigger one, the T8. I think this is a T8. The other one was a 6. So a five, six, and an eight. That was the this one's the T the T eight. And then there's a T six over here as well. Plus it's got a one or size zero and a size double zero Phillips. So this one's the size zero. And the smaller one is the size double zero. And I believe this I think this is the same size as that little Sony. That little Sony blue one. I believe this is the same size as that. So this would be good for things like Walkmans. Now I do have, I did get this, I did get this, this, this screwdriver set. This is the Vessel, which comes with a zero, a double zero, a triple zero, and a quadruple zero, plus two even smaller slot screws. 
the, the thing that I really do not like about this one here is when you're trying to turn any screws, this slips and it makes it very difficult to get any type of torque on the actual bit. This won't slip because it's a big grip. So opening something up with one of these is going to be a breeze. Let's try it on a camcorder. No problem. I haven't taken this one apart yet. You guys haven't seen this one yet. In fact, somebody gave me this. I don't even know where it came from. Somebody gave it to me. We will be looking at this camcorder at some point because um, this was one of the last, I think, of the of the Super VHS. Oh, actually, I got the cat out of the bag. It's a Super VHS ET. So this will record a higher resolution picture onto SVHS compact tapes, but it will also record, it has the SVHS ET mode, which means it will record a Super VHS picture on a regular cassette. Little small screen flip out. I don't know whether this thing works or what is the story on it. All I know is that I don't have a power supply for it. I don't have a battery for it. I just have a camera. So at some point we'll look at this thing. But I just figured I would try the uh, little tiny double zero size on here, which fits these screws no problem. I think these are a size zero actually. So let's just go to the next one up, which is this one here. Yeah, perfect fit. Perfect. And these ones are magnetic. I think these bits are also supposed to be magnetic. Oh, they are magnetic. They are magnetic. Not very strong, but they are magnetic. This one here is much stronger, which is nice. But you can magnetize the bits with a, just a magnet. Anyway, I just wanted to show off this little screwdriver set that I picked up. Pick quick. Made in Canada. They are very solidly built. You'd have a tough time breaking one of these bits. So how do you tell a real Robertson screwdriver from one of these fake imported square head? And when I say imported, I mean from anywhere other than Canada. Because even in the States, they don't make real Robertson screwdrivers. A real Robertson screwdriver will hold the screw on the head. This is a real Robertson screw. It even says right on here. It says made in Canada. Canadian made. And it says real Robertson on here somewhere. Anyway. This is a real Robertson screwdriver. We call this a red Robbie. We also have a green Robbie, which is a number one. But this is a number two. And as you can see, if I put the screw onto the head... It will hold the screw onto the head so that I can drive it into whatever I'm going to put the screw into. Okay. This might look like a Robertson, but it's actually a square head. It's not the same. A Robertson screw will not fit, it will not stay on this. It falls off. Same with this one here, right? It will not stay on the bit. It falls off. Here's our Pick quick, real Robertson screw. Maximum torque to drive the screw into anything without slipping. Try that with one of these knockoffs and it's like, see that? It cams out. That's the problem. A real Robertson screwdriver does not cam out. Drive that screw in all the way down and it does not cam out. Same with removing it. Do that with one of these chintzy fake ones and you've got a good chance that it's going to cam 
and it's going to strip the screw as you can see that's the damage to a Robertson screw from using one of these square head bits that doesn't occur with a real Robertson bit same with this one this is a real Robertson bit it does not cam out but only in Canada because Robertson screws and Robertson screwdrivers was made was invented by a guy named obviously Robertson he was a Canadian he invented the best screw period and the best screwdriver period and yet his invention is only used in Canada thanks for watching <laughs>